Today's topic is allergy. Allergy occurs when a person's immune system reacts to substances in the environment that are harmless for most people. These substances are known as allergens and are found in dust mites, pets, pollen, insects, ticks, molds, foods, and some medicines. Causes of allergy. A particular antibody called immunoglobin, or IgE, causes allergic reactions. Antibodies are released to combat foreign and potentially harmful substances in the body. Immunoglobin is released to destroy the allergen and causes the production of chemicals that trigger the allergic reaction. One of these chemicals is called histamine. Histamine causes tightening of the muscles in the airways and the walls of blood vessels. It also instructs the lining of the nose to produce more mucus. Signs and Symptoms The symptoms of allergies, such as rhinitis, conjunctivitis, asthma, skin reactions, etc., depend on the type of allergen and the port of entry. The most common allergic diseases are rhinitis or allergic conjunctivitis, affecting one out of every five people worldwide and are frequently associated to asthma. Depending on the type of allergen and the port of entry, the following different conditions can be found. Conjunctivitis, itchy eyes, watery eyes, sensation of burning or fine sand in the eye, reddening of eyes, rhinitis, nasal itching, continual sneezing, nasal obstruction, nasal drip or rhinorrhea, sensation of stuffy nose. Allergic asthma, cough with or without expectoration, suffocation, wheezing, difficulty breathing. Atopic dermatitis, rash located on skin folds, frequently in children. Urticaria, swelling or wheels, itching or skin rash. Angioedema, swelling of eyelids, lips, or limbs. When edema is located on the tongue or the larynx, edema of the glottis, it is a medical emergency due to risk of asphyxia. Contact dermatitis, rash on the areas of skin that came into contact with the allergen. Anaphylaxis, certain insects, medicinal products, and some foods may trigger all the above mentioned symptoms aggravated by hypotension, vomiting, diarrhea, and cramps which may be life-threatening. Diagnosis. The doctor will ask the patient questions regarding symptoms, when they occur, how often, and what seems to cause them. They will also ask the person with symptoms whether there is a family history of allergies and if other household members have allergies. The doctor will either recommend some tests to find out which allergen is causing symptoms or refer the patient to a specialist. Below are some examples of allergy tests blood test. This measures the level of IgE antibodies released by the immune system. This test is sometimes called the radioallergosorbent test or RAST. Skin prick test. This is also known as puncture testing or prick testing. The skin is pricked with a small amount of a possible allergen. If the skin reacts and becomes itchy, red and swollen, it may mean an allergy is present. Patch test. A patch test can identify eczema. Special metal discs with very small amounts of a suspected allergen are taped onto the individual's back. The doctor checks for a skin reaction 48 hours later and then again after a couple of days. Treatment. There are many types of anti-allergy medications. The choice of medication and how it is given depends on the severity of the reaction. Long-lasting antihistamines. These medications are available over the counter. They are meant to be taken for months at a time, even indefinitely. Most can be taken once a day and last for 24 hours. Corticosteroids. Corticosteroids are usually given via IV at first for rapid reversal of the effects of the mediators. These drugs reduce swelling and many other symptoms of allergic reactions. It will probably be necessary to take an oral corticosteroid for several days after this. Decongestants can restore sinus drainage, relieving symptoms such as nasal congestion, swelling, runny nose and sinus pain, or pain or pressure in the face, especially around the eyes. Allergy shots. These are given to some people who have persistent and disruptive allergy symptoms. The shots do not treat symptoms, but by altering the immune response, they prevent future reactions. This is referred to as immunotherapy. Probiotics. There have been studies that have looked into the use of probiotics, or live microorganisms thought to be beneficial to the body, to treat allergies, particularly atopic dermatitis, in infants.
Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.